It's not UFOs. That strange sight seen from miles away had a lot of you standing out in your yard last night, scratching your head, calling 911, calling our newsroom, asking us. So we sent WECT's Bailey Hicks to find out what was behind the mysterious lights in the sky. Santa County 911, what's the address of your emergency? Okay, you're going to think I'm crazy as hell, but um, I'm looking up at the sky right now, and there's definitely four lights circling around. Unidentified flying objects hovering very close to a very easy to identify location. It's so crazy. If you go outside right now, I just call like three people and they're seeing it too. I'm not on any drugs or anything. Like, this is the really craziest thing I've ever seen. And what is it again? Four mysterious lights. It's pretty huge. It's going around the sky and they're getting brighter and then they meet back together in the middle. And they'll fly around and then they'll come right back down. I've never seen nothing like this. Okay. From miles around Burgaw, person after person picked up the phone and, kind of sure. and dialed 911. You're going to really think I'm weird, okay? I'm standing here in my yard. We've been watching this for like five to seven minutes now. Mm -hmm. There's something in the sky. Sheriff's office. Yeah, uh, I ain't crazy. Uh, it's something to cry a UFO. Go wild line, sucker. No, it's not UFOs. It's the spotlights from the brand new Walmart. And it will be the um, spotlights from Walmart. The surprising light show coming from this machine that Walmart will be using for the next several days as part of their grand opening. Oh, is that what that is? Yes, ma'am. Good gosh. A grand opening. Many will not forget. So if you see those lights again tonight, don't worry. The Walmart store manager tells me they'll be lighting up the skies through next Tuesday. The lights, John Fran, they typically turn on around 8.30 at night and shut off right before the store closes at 11. Reporting live in the studio, Bailey Hicks, WECT News. We were overwhelmed with news tips just before 6 a.m. about reports of that bright light in the sky. This is a viewer's video. And we called the Denver Science Museum, University of Denver, and the Fisk Planetarium in Boulder. Mass alien abduction right here in Houston. One local man says it really happened, and he's made it his life's mission to track down extraterrestrial life. A mystery in the sky. A Wichita man is looking for clues tonight after spotting something unusual. KSN's Kianga Kelly spoke to the man and went in search of answers. Kianga? Is it a plane or is it something else? The federal government has posted online the complete files of Project Blue Book. It's an account of every UFO sighting in the U.S. over the past 20 years. And it includes an event in the skies over Brazoria County. And as our Kevin Reese found out, it was an experience some of the locals are still talking about. Mm -hmm. 